Along with food and heat, housing is one of the three key elements required to keep your villagers alive. Each game starts with four to six families, depending on game difficulty. Villagers without houses will not survive in the winter. They literally freeze to death. So one of your main starting priorities will be to build houses for them before winter sets in. Houses are also key to controlling your population. Each house will house one family, one or two adults, and any children that they may have. When children become adults, they need a house of their own to move into, so that they can get married and have children of their own. You can therefore use housing to control how fast or how slowly your population grows. There are two types of house in the game, wood houses and stone houses. And when you place a building, you can actually choose what model you want to build. There are no skill trees in Banished, so you can build both types from day one. The only real difference between wood and stone houses, apart from the looks, is that stone houses consume less firewood in winter. However, in the early game, you should stick to building wood houses. Stone houses require a lot more resources to build, particularly stone. In the early game, wood is more readily available than stone, and you will need your stone for other things. You can upgrade your wooden houses to stone houses at any time in the future. If you're planning to go for a firewood economy, upgrading your houses should be a priority. For more details, watch my quick guide to the firewood economy. Ideally, you want to place houses near worked buildings. This increases productivity by decreasing the distance a villager has to walk from their home to their job. If you place your houses close together in a dense town, think about building a well in case a fire breaks out. That can be devastating. And that was a quick guide to housing in Banished. Happy building!